no compromise in the fight for Americanism. I am confident that our people will work hand in hand with any public man who in good faith does all that is possible to see that the United States so conducts herself as a nation as to conserve the honor, the institutions, and the peaceful welfare of our own citizens. Our next business will be to help guarantee the peace of justice for the world at large. There cannot be, there must not be a repetition of the crime against Belgium. I am anti-brutality. I should protest as strongly against wrongdoing by any foreign power. The little nations of the earth have a right to live. And if civilization is to endure, the great nations must respect that right. Let us unite in the one great endeavor of achieving an enduring peace with all the world. But let us not forget that the surest promise of that peace lies in our constant preparedness to meet all eventualities from without and to combat and destroy all subversive elements working from within. There can be no divided allegiance here. Any man who says that he is an American and seeks to promote foreignism within our borders is not a true American. We have room for but one flag, the American flag. We have room for but one language, the language of the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights.